Hi, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you haven't been here before. Today I'd like to share some information about a little gadget I've had for quite a while now, and that is this one here from Thermowell. The best mosquito repellent tool that I've ever had. Um, now to be quite frankly with you, then I was hesitant back in the days when I bought this one because it has several downsides. But just to start with the conclusion, as I said, it is the best repellent that I ever had. And I do use it every now and then. I use it for um, my outdoor things when I'm just sitting here in my own camping area in my home. And uh, though I haven't brought it with me on my hiking trips or and similar, then it's because it is very big and I don't like to choose a very big one and most of my trips that I do they are not random they are not just a coincidence so I do have the chance of planning ahead and there are other ways that you can repel mosquitoes than by carrying a lot of bulk with you but let me just show you how it works so this is the uh, mosquito repellent from Thermacell I have had it for quite a while now and I have to say I like it uh, I like it a lot because although it does have its downsides, uh, then it is serving the purpose 100%. It repels the mosquitoes without questions. It uh, does it by emitting a little bit of smoke from a small pad. Let me just show you here. Oh, there we are. So here you've got a pad uh, that you have to put into it. This one here on the uh, here is white and this one is blue and this one is a new one so you know that this one has to be uh, exchanged once it turns white and it's quite simple you just slide these pads here in between the metal plate and uh, the plastic holder and there you are if you want to slide out a new one then you just use the old one pushing that and that's good just be aware that if you're changing it while it's been working it will be hot these uh, small pads here they come in these uh, small um, pouches here. Now the way it is heated up on this one is simple by a gas canister which you got here in the bottom. Uh, one of the dislikes for me with this one here is that you cannot refill these. There are YouTube videos out there that will show you how you can uh, modify these canisters so you can refill them. Uh, I haven't done that because I'm not using it all that much. Uh, and all you got to do is just take it and uh, screw it up in the bottom there and then close it off. Very simple. Uh, once you have the gas canister in, you have your new pad in, you just turn on the gas, which you're doing by this, and then you wait a few seconds to let the gas flow, and then you punch the button. Just to make sure, yep. Now, here at the head of it, right down here, there if you were here you can see there's a small light and that is the gas has been now has been ignited you can also hear a small hissing sound that now the gas is flowing and then all you got to do is just wait for like 10 15 minutes to the pad here has been heated up and started emitting a little bit of smoke and i will guarantee you you will have no mosquito around you this one is set to be effective in a diameter of 15 feet which equals about five meters now I haven't tested it down to those uh, degree, but I have used it. I've used it here in my small campsite in my garden. And I can tell you for sure, once you have this one up running after 10, 15 minutes, there are no flies, there are no mosquitoes. And this I find has been a very interesting uh, alternative to using uh, other sorts of remedies that you might have on the market, especially with your home. And you just don't want to be out in the garden for an hour or two, maybe doing some um, reading in the books or just chilling, and then have to go in the house again, and then you smell for mosquito repellent because you've been using a spray with DEET or not. So this one here is a very effective impulse use that you do not have to smell off later on. And it's very easy, once you're done using it, you just pull the button here and it is closed again. Now obviously, one of the reasons why I'm only been using it in my garden so far and I am planning on taking it on with me on the, on the kayak trip though it is also because of the size of it it is not very heavy but it is big and I find it a little bit too big considering what it is actually doing because if you look at this you've got the gas canister and then you got this bulky handle now it might be important to be 
able to handle it and feel comfortable when we're doing that. But in reality, they could have made a small tube for this one fitting this uh, canister, and you already would have had considerably less bulk. Um, and given the fact that the top one here, that is just a, um, a pad with a plastic cover to make sure you don't touch it, and then there's the metal plate, but, but you still got this whole bulk here. Um, and if it's a matter of making it look worth something or big, I don't know. But as a as a hiker, I like minimalistic. I like it simple. I like it much smaller than this. So it seems unnecessary big. Um, so it will definitely not be something I'll be bringing on on my hikes. Um, but if I am kayaking, for instance, where bulk and weight is not of that much of a concern, I might do that. I really do, especially because if you're in a relatively stagnant water area, you will have a lot of problems with marshes. Um, but each pad here lasts for four hours, and the gas canister, it lasts for 12 hours. So you get, when you buy this one, you get a package with one canister and three pads, and you got 12 hours of protection. But you can always buy uh, extra, and they also sell these where you got uh, four canisters, and the 12 pads that goes along with it and if you have this you covered for a very long time remember the marshes are mostly just active uh, an hour before and after sunrise and an hour before uh, sunset and an hour after sunset so it is really if you use this one at its uh, most important times you will have one for one day uh, one pad per day uh, but in reality is, as I'm doing it when I'm out on my trips, just stay out of reach of the marshes in the worst part of the day and you're pretty well off. So anyway guys, I just wanted to show you this because this is literally the best option if you want to buy a gadget to repel the mosquitoes. I haven't uh, encountered anything better than this, but it does have, as I said, downsides. You cannot refill these cash canisters too. There are YouTube videos out there that tell you how to modify them so that you can refill them. But uh, I haven't done that, I haven't had a need for it. Um, but um, that is that is obviously a, a hassle, so you got to pay extra for it. I think this one comes in at about $30 for, for, for this one here from Thermocell. Anyway guys, that was just a short video to show you one of the gadgets that I really have come to appreciate here. Uh, and since I know it works 100%, I thought I would share that information with you. Until next time, stay curious.